going to be making this very cute little quirky bird. So I'm going to show you how to make him from start to finish. It will be step by step through the video. So enjoy, let's get started. We need to start with our styrofoam ball, our base, and then we need our two leg wires. So what we're going to do is go up around about one centimetre and then we're going to put the tape at an angle onto the legs and just twist the wire as we go up. Once that one's done, we can slip that one into the base. So the base has two two millimetre holes on it, which are the same size as the leg wires. So you can see it doesn't take too long to do that. And we just simply insert the wires into the ball. The first step is to simply cover the ball with Powertex. We also want to cover the legs. Step one. Step two, we've allowed our ball to dry. We want to put some feet on and the little wing um, areas as well as the beak and the eyes. To do that, you mix the stone art, one part stone art to one part Powertex and it makes an air dried clay. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll that little piece that we've got into a little ball and then we're going to squash it between our thumb and our forefinger and then flatten it with the other side. Once that's done, it looks like a little leaf shape. Then we're going to cut some grooves. We're just gonna make two cuts in the little feet and then just mold those into the shape that we want for feet. Then once we've got the little claw, we're going to make another cut in the rear so at the back there and then split that get some of our power text we can also get the clay tool and we can actually make some little indents in his feet we can make a little ankle for him as well so whatever you can do with clay you can actually do with the stone art so i can make a coil and then i can take that and I can just use that on my face. We'll just pop a little bit more Powertex on there where it's going to join to the top of the legs and we're making a nice little cuff. So once that's done, we actually then want to make the little wings. And so again, we're going to get a bit of the stone art clay. I'm going to actually split that in two. I'm going to make a ball. You can see that's the ball there. And again, we're going to do what we did before for the feet, except a bigger version this time. Once we've got it in the shape, these rubbing plates are really good. They've got different textures on them, and we can actually push that into that shape and get a little bit of a texture on there. Reshape the wings if you want to and then away you go. You've got your little wing to add to your piece. We'll attach it with some power tags. And just choose some points to gently push down so that it's made connection with the actual ball. Then we do the second side. We need to adjust that wing so that it goes up the other way because he's on the opposite side. Now he's got wings. What we need to do is add a beak and we need to add his eyes. Very simply, we get a little bit more of the clay. This time I'm going to make another couple of smaller balls. So we want them about the same size. in under there and I'm going to just pop his eye on about there. To push it on I'm going to get a crab stick and then I'm going to get my clay tool 
and just pop pop that down. So again, make one little ball. If you don't like anything that you do with the Powertex, it's very, very simple to fix. You just simply move things around. Now we want to make him the quirky bee. Again, I'll roll it into a ball just so it's really easy to do. flat on one side and then I've got just a little bit of a beaky shape and then I'm going to put that on there. Okay, so again a bit of Powertex on the back. Once we've got to this point we want to make his little tail feathers. To do that we're going to use the other wires that are actually in our kit, which are soft aluminium wires. You get your masking tape. masking tape on then you're just going to simply get some scissors and trim it into the shape that you want. Once you've got it trimmed then you're going to paint it with your Powertex and let your Powertex dry. You're going to get your scissors again and you cut at a 45 degree angle you can do this as fine or as chunky as you like. It doesn't have to be really fine. You might like to do it with larger cuts. Then we go from the other side. Once we've done that, we've got our feather that we can add to our bird. So we can stick our feathers in. going to add some colour to him. I've got some alfoil and power colour orange. So we want a very dry brush then we're going to take just a little tiny bit of the glossy and mostly pigment. nice to let a little bit of the brown power text come through then you get some really nice textural effects you can use acrylic paints at this point or you can use some of our lovely power color pigments Another series of colours which is really nice to use is the Colortrix range. The Colortrix is a beautiful metallic pigment and is absolutely stunning on your artwork. I'm going to use some bronze gold. looks more golden if you allow some of the brown to come through than if you covered the whole lot. That's how you get that realistic bronzy effect. I've got the smallest amount of bronze gold on my brush now. You notice that I'm sort of flicking the brush and I'm doing it in different directions so that I don't get too many brush strokes. Once I've done the gold and I'm happy with how that's looking, I can choose my colours for the wings and for the tail feathers. In this one, I've used magic blue, magic purple and bronze gold to get that colour. I might use magic red. And you'll see that the magic red actually goes quite pink. When I'm brushing onto the wings, you'll notice that I'm brushing across the top of the textures. So I'm not getting into all of the gaps. I'm actually going across the top so that you actually pick up the highlights. 
then I can finish it off again with a little bit of bronze gold. On the feathers you want to come in from the edges just to create that illusion of light. enjoy this project. If you want to make a bigger one then it's just a case of using a larger styrofoam ball and then he's just got some real feathers. You can put real feathers on your small one if you prefer. <laughs>